Ever go driving in the middle of the night on a poorly lit streets and thinking, what if someone were to pop out out of nowhere? Unfortunately, for some places in the States, that actually happens. And that's usually because the road they're driving on is haunted. And I did a little bit of digging and I wanted to find out the top 10 most haunted roads in America you want to avoid. I'm your host, Andrew, and let's get right into this. At a number 10 spot, we have Devil Worshipper Road. Located in Waynesboro, this road's real name is Waynesboro Shibuta Road, or by its popular name, Devil Worshipper Road. I know, I read that name and already knew this story was gonna be all types of creepy. Story goes that a local farmer was struggling financially, so in hopes to provide for himself and his family, he decided it was best to sell his soul to the devil. He documented that the creature approached him on this road and it was seven feet tall, red glowing eyes, and holding a pitchfork. Now this road is cursed, apparently, because many people who drive on this road at night claim that their car stops out of nowhere, which leaves them stranded. And just imagine being in the middle of a rural highway in the middle of the night with nothing but trees and trees around you. For some people that are stuck, the spirits around them try to taunt them by shaking up their cars until they either crash or have to just stop driving altogether. Then when your car is shut off, some claim that a half man, half goat will appear out of the woods and sometimes stand on top of your vehicle. At a number 9 spot, we have Spook Road. Known to locals as Spook Road, this eerie stretch just outside Brandon, South Dakota has quite the collection of creepy occurrences under its belt. Winding through tunnels, running over bridges, and lined in trees, locals claim this road is especially unnerving in the fall and winter months. There are many theories about the road, including one that claims that if you drive from town and count the number of turns, and then drive back and count them again, you will end up with different numbers. It's like driving in one direction will give you five bridges, but on the way back, you'll only cross four. As if that wasn't weird enough, many cars have also been completely wrecked on this road, which only often leaves drivers with a more unsettled feeling when they drive through here. While some believe Spook Road is mere folklore, others will defend it to an end, with some diehard believers even creating a Facebook page about the spooky road. Allegedly, people who also take in their own lives can still be seen from both the bridges and the trees, their bulging eyes watching you as you cross in horror. At a number eight spot, we have Kennedy Hill Road. In 1980 on Kennedy Hill Road, people reported seeing a woman in a dress walking around vanishing into the darkness. There were numerous sightings of this person or ghost, but no one could really explain what they saw. Some thought it was a ghost of a woman buried nearby, or someone had assumed it was a disabled person who had run away from their home. As more sightings were reported, more details were being released on what the ghost was. One report claimed that the ghost lady was actually a man wearing his late girlfriend's dress. But after this report was made, the ghost was never seen or heard from again, except now she is said to be back. News reports claim to see the ghost still walking the road with descriptions of being very tall, slender, and having long blonde hair. At a number seven spot, we have Crawford Road. Crawford Road is one of the most haunted roads in all of Virginia. One of the stories tells us of a group of friends that were cruising late at night until they decided to turn up the fun by going down this road. While driving down Crawford Road, they joked, they laughed, and they even sang songs from their brand new CD. Everything was fine until they reached the bridge. The track they were listening to on a CD let out a high-pitched shrieking sound, and the noise lasted for about 10 seconds until they were far enough from the bridge. Then then the noise stopped and the CD played as normal. Another incident involved a wedding that took place in the area. The bride was not a happy one and regretted all of her actions which led her to hang herself by the bridge. As people drive on this road, some have reported to see a woman in white in a wedding gown standing on top of the bridge only to jump off and just disappear. At our number 6 spot, we have Boy Scout Lane. This isolated rural street in Linwood Portage County is said to be one of America's most haunted roads. It's only less than a mile out, but it's notorious for the things that happen on the road. The road gets its name Boy Scout Lane because this is the location where the troop of Boy Scouts were murdered on their camping trip during the late 1850s. The case never ended up getting solved, but many people had their own theories about this. Some believe the murderer was their scoutmaster, while others believe it was the bus driver who drove them to the woods in the first place. Regardless of whatever story is true, what is said is that the Boy Scouts still haunt the forest around the stretch of road. Some who drive on this road see four distinct lights in the distance, which are supposed to resemble the four Boy Scouts looking to get 
through the forest. In the Humphrey list, we have Blue Mist Road. Blue Mist Road is actually named Irwin Road, and locals claim that you can see a blue mist covering the entire road at night. Back in the 1800s, it was a dirt road, and even to this day, it still remains unpaved. The road has way too many tragic stories to tell in one single point, but let me tell you, this place has a very dark history. Locals claim that a witch lived on this road who used to practice black magic, including rituals and human sacrifice. A family once lived here, and one day the husband came home in a trance-like state and just murdered his entire family. Then in 1915, the KKK became attracted to this area because of its horrific past and isolated woods, where they would use these forests to do lynching and various other horrific rituals. At number four spot, we have Badarka Road. Many say this road exists, while others claim it was completely made up. But what could be true is the terrifying stories attached to the road. Apparently, located in Chujak is a road known to be haunted by a man and his young daughter. This is all because they lost their lives on this road and has never been put to rest. Story goes that a man and his five-year-old daughter decided to drive down the stretch of road in order to gather firewood for their cabin that was nearby. When they stopped, the father grabbed his axe and proceeded to chop down a tree. When he was on to his next tree, he wanted a small break so he kept his axe lodged inside of the tree. However, when he turned his back, his daughter wanted to impress him and she took out the axe which caused the entire tree to fall on her, killing her instantly. The father was so distraught and sat there with her lifeless body until he himself passed away from hypothermia. Now, if you happen to find this road and walk down it around 3 a.m., you may catch a glimpse of this father holding his bloody daughter, asking for a ride. At number three spot, we have the Seven Sisters Road. Located in southeast Nebraska, just outside Nebraska City, is a road that locals call Seven Sisters Road. If you're trying to find this on a map, it will be named L Street, but I wouldn't recommend taking a road trip down this road. Legend goes that a man had an argument with his parents and his seven sisters. It got to a point where his whole family hated him and he looked to seek revenge. So one day, he waited in the woods outside of his home and waited for his parents to leave the house. After he forced or baited his sisters outside one by one, he would end up hanging all of them on the trees nearby where the road is situated today. Then eventually, this road would be built on the path of these trees, causing them to be chopped down. And ever since the construction of this road, this road is said to be haunted by all the seven sisters who were executed. Many who have driven through the area report having problems with their car stalling, headlights mysteriously dimming, speedometers freezing, and windows that roll up and down seemingly on their own. Others have reported lady hitchhikers who asked for a ride, only to disappear before their destinations. At a number two spot, we have Narrows Road. Narrows Road in Erlanger, Kentucky is supposedly where a ghostly police officer likes to hang out. According to local legend, while making a traffic stop here sometime in the 50s, an officer was struck and passed away by a passing car. So now, if you drive along Narrows Road at midnight, a 1950s style police cruiser will appear and pull you over. Some versions of the legend say the officer will then come to your car, speak to you, and then disappear after walking away. Well, while others say he disappears before even reaching you. At a number one spot, we have Three Curves. This is a very dangerous road in Marcellus, New York, named the 13 Curves. Over the past 60 years since its construction, this road claimed the lives of many, many drivers from unfortunate accidents. None are more notorious than the story of a couple on their wedding day. Drivers claim to see a young woman dressed in a bloody white wedding gown walking along the road looking for her groom. All of the accidents on this road are said to be associated with this one woman since many of the survivors of these accidents claim the last thing they saw before crashing was in fact this woman in white. This story is very similar to La Rona if you ever remember my past videos. How the woman passed away in the first place remains a mystery, but some claim that on her wedding night, the couple drove on these winding roads, but on one of the curves they lost control and ended up in a nearby creek. Other drivers claim that she enters into their cars and many get startled and crash when they look into the rear view mirror to see this bloody apparition. Well, these are the top 10 most haunted roads in America you want to avoid. What do you guys think about this list? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts, but don't forget to like and subscribe for some more content. I'm your host, Andrew, and I hope you guys have a scary day.